So this is Bristol Fish Project, situated in the old Brislington College, which is about to be knocked down, make room for houses, and so we're going to have to relocate the fish farm. We've got a few options on the table, some of them very good, but more about that later. Let's go inside. Okay, here we have the fish farm, fish project, Bristol Fish Project. It's comprised of six IBC totes, which we've cut down. Um, as long as they're great, as long as they haven't had anything like paint or any sort of chemicals in them, you need to just be assured where you got them from. They haven't had anything in there like that. Um, we're running off an NFT system here where we're pumping water in through these nozzles here, and it's feeding this veg. That's quite good. It does get blocked up now and again. You've got some sun camps going on. You've got a filter here catching any excess food that's coming out over the top. Um, basically, we're still experimenting on how much fish to feed, how much food to feed them. If you feed them too much, obviously it comes out and you get a surplus. We're just catching it in this filter here to stop it going up back onto the beds, which you don't want. The watercress is doing really, really well along with rockets and lettuce which is quite a fast turnover crop so basically we've got four fish tanks not very stocked with fish uh, this is just an experiment at the moment it's not really a commercial thing at the moment I think we've got too much feed going in Basically, we've got one pump that is supplying four beds on a flood and drain system. So when the water gets to a certain level, it drains out through these bell siphons. Now these siphons are good. They create an extra bit of pressure that actually pulls the water a lot faster out, pulls the air in, which you need a good mixture of water to air ratio in your roots. Otherwise, the roots will drown. Obviously, if you don't get enough, they'll be too hungry and they'll die of thirst. Um, the tanks have got worms in them and bacteria acting as a biofilter. So basically, your fish excrete ammonia, which attracts nitsomias, bacteria, which turn it the ammonia into nitrites. Now the nitrite attracts bacteria called nitrospira which turns nitrite into nitrate which then the plants can assimilate and take out of the water before returning it back to the fish tanks. So I'll just take you around outside. And here we've got all our electrics covered up. We've got a pump in this tank here, which is pumping it up the water up to the four channels to the four beds. And then gravity's taking it down into these beds, these fish tanks, and then they go out into the sun. And that is basically the basic process of it. So I'm going to finish this video here and get on with some harvesting. <laughs>